the people of Rathdrum love their small city. We like it. Yeah, I like the town a lot. But change is spreading across the area. Growth is hard, you know, when you're in a small town. Mary Luttrell knows from experience. We came from Monroe, Washington. A city she left because it got too big. We were just trying to find some moral values that we agreed with in a small town. So she landed on Rathdrum. We moved in in November. Like many of her neighbors in Rathdrum's new developments, moving for that small town feel, but moving into a city that's changing quickly. It wasn't bad through the winter, but now it's <laughs> getting a little loud, but it's doable. In the 2010 census, 6,800 people lived in Rathdrum. Now the city administrator says they've reached over 10,000. We have some residential growth within this area here and also in this area over here. The city is just planning ahead to stay on top of the growth. The goal is to create a self-sustaining city. You can work here, you can live here, and you can play here. Back in 2018, Rathdrum added a new water well, an upgraded wastewater system, and started an urban renewal district to bring in new jobs. Because of that, Kootenai Electric Co-op has chosen some property in Rathdrum. Now, Rathdrum is breaking ground on 160 acres of even more industrial land. We've got businesses that want to expand but don't have anywhere to expand to, so that'll provide those services for them. Plus, Highway 41 is expanding from two to four lanes and new housing developments are popping up in every corner. But as this wave of newcomers settles in, Mary's hoping the change starts to slow down. Yeah, we're hoping. So it was an interesting paradox that we noticed. We were talking to a bunch of neighbors and newcomers, of course, here in the Rathdrum area, and people overwhelmingly are moving to this area specifically for that small town feel. But as people move here, of course, that makes the city grow even more. In Rathdrum, Nicole Hernandez, Crumb 2 News.